For many, the results of the Bradley Central Cleveland football game will be used as bragging rights for years to come. But for one Bradley Bear, just being part of the game is worth bragging. For more on this one-of-a-kind story, we turn now to Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports reporter Jill Jelnick live on the sidelines. Jill. Paul Tay Cobb is one of the backup quarterbacks for Bradley Central, but you probably won't see him play much this year. Tay has been recovering from a deadly car accident three years ago. His mom hesitated to let him play football again, but after a lot of convincing, he's now back on the field for his senior season, and he's enjoying every second of it. A star on the court and on the field, Tay Cobb was just 14 years old when a deadly crash threw him into the jaws of life. My uncle came and woke me up and took me with him to get something to eat. And I guess on the way on the peerless road, he ended up having a seizure and I was asleep, so I didn't know nothing about it. Tay had to be cut from the car and airlifted to Erlanger. He was then transported to the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, where he was unconscious for nearly a week. And I woke up in Atlanta and I didn't know what happened. I woke up in the middle of the night, it was pitch dark. And I was looking at me, I seen I had a cast on and I had a, a neck brace on and I didn't know what happened. And so I thought it was a dream, honestly. That's when Tay learned that his uncle O'Neill Jr. Ware died from his injuries. Tay suffered a brain injury and a fractured neck, leaving him in a wheelchair for several months. Now, three years later, Tay is returning to what he loves. His time on the field is heavily restricted because another concussion could end his life. But he wants to enjoy every moment he has left with his teammates and share with others his new appreciation for life. I hope I get to encourage other kids to go out and do great things because, like, my life, I mean, I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm here. So I just want to encourage them to do what you got to do because life's not promised and you never know when you're going to get taken away. Tay told me he hopes to earn a college scholarship to play basketball next year, but if that doesn't work out, he wants to go to school to become a math teacher and hopefully continue inspiring others. Paul, back to you. Jill, add one more to the list of inspired others because what a story, what a young man he is.